Bird of Paradise. It gets its popular name from its colorful flowers that look like bright colored birds. It can grow as tall as 6 feet with large leaves reaching almost 28 inches in length and 12 inches wide. The colorful flowers grow on the tips of long stalks that stand above the leaves. This is a low maintenance plant that can be cultivated easily indoors as well as outdoors if it gets sufficient light and is cared for properly it will flower several times a year. The plant will usually begin flowering between 2 and 5 years. The plant grows well in full sunlight as well as partially shaded conditions. It's best to grow in partial shade if you happen to live in hot regions to prevent leaf burn. The plant will not flower if lighting requirements are not sufficient. Water the plant weekly and again when the top soil becomes dry, as it prefers the soil to be moist, but not very soggy. Watering should be less in winter when growth slows down. The plants thrive indoors at average levels of 40% humidity. The plant will benefit from misting when humidity levels drop. It can tolerate temperatures between 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, usually requiring at least 4 hours of adequate lighting but needs warmer temperatures and plenty of light to produce flowers. It does not do well in temperatures below 50 and can suffer severe damage below 24 degrees Fahrenheit. The plant grows well with regular feeding of suitable plant fertilizer. Feed the plant in early spring and once per month in summer. It is mildly poisonous to pets and humans if leaves are consumed in large amounts. Bird of Paradise likes to be a little pot bound, but larger plants have to be reparted every two to three years in spring. As always, the new pot has to be bigger than the current one. However, you can reuse the old pot, just make sure to use fresh soil and trim the roots. Grasp the plant as close as possible to the soil and ease the plant from the old pot gently. Shake the plant to get rid of excess soil and repot with fresh soil, watering well after you're finished. Pruning bird of paradise is to allow air and light into the center of the growing area to increase flower growth and to prevent fungal. Cut off any dead leaves and stems close to the ground to make space. Plant division is the easiest method and it's best done in spring. Cut off any piece of rhizome with a leaf attached. Dust the cut with some rooting hormone and plant each section in a small pot filled with rich soil that drains well. Don't water the new plant yet. Allow the cuts to at least heal for a day before watering. It can be grown from seeds but this is a slow process that can take some time for the seed to sprout. Make sure the seeds are fresh and dry. The seeds must be soaked in water at room temperature for about 3 days to help the germination process, changing the water every day. Chemicals in tap water might cause the edges of the leaves to become brown. You must make sure that the tap water stands for a day to allow the chemicals to evaporate. Leaf splitting occurs naturally. However, the leaves tend to split if underwater, but misting or wiping the leaves with a wet cloth will help. Rotate the pot regularly to get the plant to grow evenly. It is an easy low maintenance plant to cultivate, but it can be affected by over or under watering and root rot disease. Yellow leaves can indicate that either the soil is too soggy due to overwatering or perhaps the plant is not getting enough light. Wilting or curling leaves indicate that the plant is underwater. Leaf burn can also be caused by too much feeding.